I think most people will agree with me when I say that most Mario levels are pretty easy. Especially if you're someone who plays Mario Maker where you're constantly exposed to creator made levels that go way beyond the typical difficulty of your average level. But we don't like that. I don't like that. So recently, I started thinking of ways I could challenge myself. Now that's not anything new, as most of my videos are based around giving myself a challenge. Like when I played Red Light Green Light in Mario Wonder, or when I became a Hitman in Mario Maker 2. But this time around, I wanted to take things a step further. I just didn't know how. Yet. See, during my playthrough of Mario Wonder, I was in one of the World 1 levels and decided to take a photo of the background. But because I had a controller where the screenshot and home button are so close to each other, I pressed the home button, and not once, but twice, which subsequently led the screen to zoom in a little. Now instead of just going back and taking my screenshot, I decided to play around with this a little. By pressing the home button a third time, you can lock the screen at whatever zoom it's on and control your character. As a result though, this one star difficulty level suddenly became much, much harder. And that's when it hit me. Wait, if I'm struggling on a level like this, what would happen if I took this zoom and put it into Mario Maker? Suddenly, an idea hatched. And what you're watching right now is that idea. Here's how this is going to work. I'm going to play through Endless Easy, Normal, and Expert, and in each mode, I'll have to complete a certain amount of levels to move on to the next. The easier the mode, the more levels I need to be. And while I play, the screen will zoom in depending on the mode. Easy will be at 25% zoom, Normal 50%, and Expert 100%. My goal? Make it all the way to Expert and complete it. I would give myself a punishment for failing, but trust me, <laughs> Doing this challenge was enough of a punishment. So with that said, let's jump straight into, by far, the toughest challenge I've ever faced. Alright, well, I have no clue how, how uh, hard this is going to be, but I think we should be able to be uh, 7 levels, hopefully. If we don't, then I guess I just suck at the game and, and yeah, yeah, I'm just bad, guys. I'm sorry. But yeah, let's just hop into it and see how it goes. Oh, it's just, just the title screen. Oh. No! My shell, I needed that. Oh, there's another one. I think I can do the infinite life trick. I really do just suck at this game. Wow. God. That was such a bad performance. Dang it, I missed it. Ugh, that level was absolutely horrible. I literally lost a life trying to gain three and then missed time the one up at the end. For our first level, we went pretty good, guys. Let's continue on. Oh, uh, this is what you like to see. Alright, guys, I'll see you again when I get this clear condition down. And there we go. Easy as pie. Here we got. Ooh, life? No, of course not. No! I actually want to send it here, see what happens. <laughs> Easy. I should have just done that from the beginning. We may have not got we may have not gotten lies, but we are closer to beating seven levels, so now despite that unfortunate death, things were looking pretty good. I was able to beat the level on my second attempt with ease, and my life count was looking good. I think. C Cause you know, I, I can't actually see my life count. The fourth, fifth, and sixth level were all jokes that could be cleared in less than 30 seconds. And so all that remained was one stage that stood in between me and advancing to normal. Would it be the fabled shell jump level in easy or a little Timmy level with a hidden star? Yeah, that was it. With that, I had cleared 7 easy levels with 25% zoom. Now you're probably thinking, man, this guy really exaggerated how difficult this would be. And if you weren't, 
you are now. But easy was only the warm up, cause trust me, everything from this point on is on a whole different level. This is a clear condition? There's a clear con here. What is it? Oh gosh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Is this another 999? Oh, I just died. I guess not. Now, if you couldn't tell, this was very reminiscent of the second level I got in Easy, where I also had to grab 999 coins. However, there were two distinct differences here. One, you had to grab all 999 coins instead of at least. And two, the level had a large pit near the goal. Now that might not sound insane, but when you can't see the ground below you, it becomes quite hard to gauge just how big the pit is, and the mere fact that I knew of its present, but could not tell exactly how far it extended, was enough for me to die 5 times. This level was a perfect way to show not only the jump in difficulty, but more importantly, the difference in how small my screen actually was. This difference led to the following two game overs I had, the first coming from icicles that I couldn't see above me, and the second from a level with a weird layout that honestly sucked for this challenge. So clearly, I wasn't off to the best start. I got back to back game overs and couldn't manage to be one level, but that all changed with this next level. Okay, and I died. <laughs> the amount of piss that are just not visible is actually insane. Like, I cannot trust any of the jumps I make, actually. That's it! That's it! As luck would have it, I got a level where I only needed to run and jump about two times. But it didn't end there. The next level was even easier. Oh, um, <clears throat> okay, sure. I don't even know what the clear condition was, to be honest. I was thinking it was don't take damage, but somehow that spiny didn't damage us, I think. It still might have been, we don't really know, but... But now, yeah, nice! Maybe this won't be uh, as difficult of a task that I thought. And just like that, we had two levels in our pocket. At this point, I was feeling pretty good. With two wins under my belt, and not too many lives lost, it looked like we finally had a run going, so when I went into the next level and died to what I'm assuming was an enemy, I decided to skip in order to keep the run going, which, now that I think about it, I never actually mentioned that skips were allowed. But yeah, they are, because during this charge, without them, would be... I mean, are they even words to describe that sort of torture? Anyway, the next level was also no walk in the park. It started me off in this sort of one block wide tunnel that I had to go through with a mushroom. But the fun part was only beginning. I'm pretty sure there's a warp box somewhere in this level because there's one right here. And it doesn't look like an entry one, it looks like an exit one, it looks like one you come out of. So I'm pretty sure there's a warp block somewhere and I'm just not finding it. Because maybe it's just out of sight, or maybe it's like hidden, and I need to find like a hidden death block or something. I I, I don't know. What is what is this? Well, I was half right. After spending over five minutes running and jumping through that open space, I found not a warp box, but ah, uh... what? There's a door right there. I was holding up there. I was like, maybe there's a door. Dude, unbelievable. Yeah, it was a warp door. And it doesn't end there. Following the door, I got to a section where the screen scrolled so high up, I couldn't see anything other than the ground right beneath me. So I spent the whole timer trying to figure out where I was. But on my last life, I finally made progress. It looks like it's just a solid wall right there. And there's nothing for me to break it. So... What? What? What is going on here? 
Oh my gosh, this scares me so much. Oh goodness. Dude, please. Oh! Oh my goodness. Alright, what was that? Oh my goodness. Oh, all I had to do was crouch? Really? Really? Yep. I made progress only to get crushed by a throw. And game over. Unfortunate. But it was a learning moment for me. I realized that luck was an essential part of this challenge. If I wanted to be 5 normal levels, I was going to need levels that fit specific conditions. 1. The level would need to be safe enough to explore at least the first screen. For example, if I loaded into a level and found that it had a bunch of bullet bills being shot, with dozens of enemies all over the place, that was an instant sign that I needed to get out of there. And if that wasn't the case, then I would look into seeing if there was a power-up somewhere that I could get. Because being able to take a hit and not die when enemies can randomly appear off-screen is very useful. Problem is, finding levels with those two conditions is pretty hard. So I had to skip. Like, a lot. But after many skips and many game overs, I finally got a run going. Oh my goodness, finally, finally, after almost two hours of playing, I have finally managed to do it. It feels so good. I never thought that beating five normal levels would be so, so hard. Two hours, man, of just me playing through levels, dying on the first one, resetting. I had to take a break in between. Unbelievable, man. I'm just glad that we can finally move on. And with that, I had been 5 normal levels with 50% zoom. Now, I'll be honest guys, after playing through whatever that was supposed to be, I had already felt like this was the hardest challenge I had ever attempted. But I wasn't done just yet, there was still one more obstacle standing between me and achieving greatness. Endless expert. This would be, by far, the hardest mode I would have to do. Other than the fact that I had more lives to work with compared to the previous two modes, everything else would be against me. There would be no free levels like an easy, a significant dip in power-ups compared to normal, and the starting area much less safe than what easy and normal combined typically are like. But even with all of that in mind, I knew I had to make it happen. I had to at least try and give it my very best shot at being 3 expert levels because I had already made it this far. After all, it all comes down to luck. All I needed was the perfect sequence of levels and I could do it. So with that, I went to bed. Let's just say I was mentally checked out after spending 2 hours playing levels. But after a good night's sleep, I was ready to bring my A game. With my ball of water beside me, I took a deep breath and dialed in. This was the end game. All right, into the first level. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Okay, there I am. That's a thwomp, I think. Right? Um, no, just send it. Just send it. Uh, oh, oh my goodness, Whoa, what? What? Sending it worked, I think. Um, I think we try that again, right? Okay, just send it. Uh, oh my goodness, what is happening? What is happening? Stop, let me out of here. Let me out of here. I don't want any, I don't want this anymore. Please, I beg. This is the ground. No, what did I die to? I don't understand. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What, what? I don't understand. I 
don't understand. I'm just sending it. Where, where is the ground? Oh god, dude, what is this, man? <laughs> I'm so scared, guys. <laughs> the fact that I can't even see Luigi is so, so bad. I, I. <sighs> What? What is this? Oh my goodness, man. Oh, that was a pipe. Okay. Can I jump? Are there like spikes above me? Like, wh what is this? Ah, oh, okay. I I'm skipping. I'm skipping. This level is just like. I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh. oh is, it just, is this a don't touch the ground? Or don't leave the ground? I could do this, maybe. Oh my goodness. How? There's no way I can do this. I gotta skip this. Oh! Right in my face! At this point, things weren't looking too good. I had lost 7 lives and had nothing to show for it. And on top of that, my screen was just so... small? Or... big? Huh. I'm not actually sure which one you call it, but that's beside the point. I was in a bad position is what I'm trying to say, but considering this was just my first run in Expert, I only thought of this as a simple experimental test, something to lay the grounds of what I had to work with. Either way, I still ended up game overing, and that was only one of many game overs. But there was a major problem here. My screen was actually just too... You know what, screw it, I'm going with small. My screen was just too small to the point where I might as well have put a blindfold on, and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. However, this wasn't the first time this happened. As you guys probably noticed, there's been a lot of instances where I would just hold the skip button for a little and then release it. That's because it allowed me to see just a little more of my surroundings. But here's the thing. How much I can see changes with how zoomed in my screen is. At 25% zoom, I was able to see up to an extra 3.5 blocks, give or take. But at 100% zoom, that difference goes down to around 2 to 2.5 two blocks, which might sound pretty good at first. But when you can only see a couple blocks ahead of you, adding 2 extra blocks doesn't really do much. Add to that the fact that the screen would zoom out weirdly, and suddenly, the skip feature didn't seem so useful at this point. Point is, I needed something to give myself a fair shot, and it didn't take long for me to find that something. It's that you can move your screen when it's zoomed in. I never actually considered this an option throughout the run, but suddenly, it seemed like my ticket to winning. If I could use this feature correctly to see upcoming obstacles, then I might actually stand a chance against the insanity that was 100% zoom. So with that, I jumped into another run with renewed hope only to realize that even with the screen moving this was still hard as hell so i went back to my good old strategy skip until safe beginning plus power up nearby but eventually i did get a run going now before we move into the actual level some of you are probably asking yourself why is he playing this level there's no power up or anything like that and the beginning definitely isn't safe and you're completely right but to be honest i had no clue myself i guess you could just call it a gut feeling one that certainly worked out anyway after getting past that starting area i eventually came across a pipe that had koopas coming out of it so i decided to farm three one-ups because i already knew that i would need as many lives as possible to explore future levels but after getting an actual successful life farm, unlike my last attempt at that, I reached a roadblock. There was a family of munchers blocking the way forward. Now, technically, you could jump in between the munchers with a well-timed jump, but one, I'm not skilled enough to make that kind of jump, and two, I doubt the creator was skilled enough to make that either. No offense to the creator. So there was either a hidden block with a power-up somewhere, or I was missing something that I should have had by this point. And it was kind of both. After exploring my surroundings with the camera a bit more, I actually noticed that there was a bottom half to the level, which had the exact same layout as the top half I was on. 
Except for one thing, the bottom half also had a question block. It didn't take me long to figure out what was going on here. I was playing a mirror level, or, or whatever they're called. That meant that all I needed was to hit the space where the block was on my side, and whatever came out of it would certainly help me get past those munches. Pretty simple, yeah? There weren't any noteworthy obstacles after that, but I did come across this pipe that dispenses shell mitt for protection. Or, at least I thought it was for protection. Not long after that, I came across a wall so high I couldn't jump over it. And there weren't any blocks or enemies to help me get more height. I mean, there was this one thwomp, but he just kind of existed. Which means the only way forward was with a shell jump. My shell jump success rate is already pretty low. But on top of that, I had to do it with my screen being so small? Yeah, good luck. But hey, there's that fable shell jump level I was talking about earlier. Just wasn't in the right mode. I can't, sh I can't shut up with this. <laughs> okay, I need to line myself up. Let's see. One. Okay, I need to move a little closer to the to the floor. Okay, so like this. One, two. Okay. And then I just gotta jump and time it. No! No! Come on! No! No! <laughs> I need to do a shell jump? Are you kidding me? That sucks. That sucks a lot, actually. I may have had infinite shells to work with, but I did have an infinite timer. And this creator only left me with 300 seconds to do a task seemingly impossible. But hey, never say never, am I right? Yes! I did it! Let's go! That's right. With a world time jump and kick, I finally did it. But this was no time to celebrate. I still had a lot of level to go through. So after swimming through the ravenous river and going through the fiend infested forest, I got to the very last section of the level, which wanted me to get a P-switch in order to clear the way forward, but it was being guarded by many enemies and obstacles. But I knew if I could get that P-switch, I would finally win. So after dying three separate times, I finally made it happen. Okay, thank you, Spiny. Thank you, thank you, oh my gosh. I was in such a good spot, dude. No, oh, I'm gonna die again. I don't wanna die again. I beg. Oh my goodness, man. So bad. Why is this happening? have the P switch I would just need to not die simple enough right okay we just have to make the jump I, I guess we just go Yes! Yes! Let's go! Oh my goodness! It's actually over! <laughs> it's over! <laughs> 26 minutes! 26 minutes! The world record is 3 minutes! Unbelievable! Just... <laughs> oh, I need a break. I need a break from that. That was so, so long. Oh gosh. And after a small break, I hopped right back in. A couple of skips later, I got a level with a clear condition requiring me to kill 10 cheap cheeps. Though, there wasn't really much to the level. Basically, I had to get this fire flower that was falling down before it went into the void and use it to kill the cheap cheeps. So after eventually just doing that, I got my clear condition and one went up. I could have gotten three, but I'll let you guys see for yourself. This will be a one up. Oh, we can get two more one-ups from the coins, I think. I think we go for the coins. 
right? There's not a pit or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No! No! I just wanted to get the coins and he went so far to the right. I was nudging on the D-pad. The reason why this was such an issue for me is because I now had one life to explore and gather as much info on a level as possible and another to beat it. Which means that if I ever came across a level that killed me early on, I only had one life to try and beat it with the limited information I had on it. Or I could just skip. But then I would only have one life to one shot a level completely blind. Which isn't much better. But after that fumble with missing 3 1-ups, things didn't get much better. No! Stupid, stupid. What is this dumb level? Dude, spring? What, what is this? Oh, guys. I think it's over. That's right. I somehow managed to choke skipping a level, leaving me with only one life to be whatever I even thought possible. At this point, I already thought that the run was gone and was just waiting for my inevitable death. But this one level might have just been what I needed to bring the run back. This is called super easy level guys. Surely it's easy, right? Let's try this one. Actually, I don't have comments on. That might help a little. I swear on everything, if I die to this Goomba... Well, it is 14 seconds, so... This could work, maybe? I gotta see what this level was. I was like, wait, where's the mushroom? Oh, it's not a mushroom, it's a potaboo. Cause yes. Just a troll. Oh, of course it was a troll level. Oh, is this the end? Is it the end? Don't don't do this to me. Alright. We all know what's past this door, right? That was the level. That was the level. I could have done that. I could have done that, but I didn't see those comments. They never existed. No! All I had to do was find that one comment saying, hey, there's a block here. My, you might want to hit it. And I probably could have worked my way all the way to that second block in the other room and then beat the level. And we would have done it against all odds. With one life, we would have done it because there were no enemies. No. Instead, that happens. Dying to a potaboo in a troll level. After the most unbelievable run one could hope for, I got taken out by a lava bubble in a block that should have had a power up. Okay, I still might be a little mad about that. But like past me said, I could have been this challenge had I just found that first comment pointing out the hidden block with a vine, which would have eventually led me to beating the level. And I think that's what led to me throwing in the towel to be honest. To find out that I was just this close to greatness, only for it to be taken away in an instant left me with no hope. I had already been playing for 3 hours and knew in my mind it would take multiple more to get something even close to what I found on that run. But I'll be honest guys, I didn't feel bad giving up. Even though I couldn't beat 3 levels, I still managed to beat 2, which was an incredible feat in my eyes, given what I had to work with of course. I knew I had given it my very best shot, 
but it just wasn't enough. Like I said earlier, all I needed was the perfect sequence of levels, and I could have done it. And I did get that perfect sequence of levels, it was just a matter of me bringing it home. Now, I want to quickly mention the elephant in the room here, which was giving myself the ability to move the screen. To some of you watching, that might have seemed like just cheating because I could see more of the screen than what I was meant to, but one, even though I was moving the screen, it still remained at the same zoom, which was the whole point of the challenge, and two, this didn't take away from the difficulty of the challenge. I still had to struggle through every level I saw as an opportunity to make progress. I just thought of this as a way of giving myself a fair shot at actually making progress, cause, I mean, I probably just game over from those two levels without it? So if you're super mad at me for moving the screen, I guess just type it in the comments and uh, yeah. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this was easily the hardest challenge I've done so far. And I honestly didn't know it would be possible going into it, but it's safe to say it is. It's also something that's super accessible to anyone, so if you want to try and prove how much better you are at Mario Maker than me, you know what to do. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I've got a bunch of fun challenges like these coming up, and you can even check out older ones I've done before, like the red light green light one, or the Mario Hitman challenge that I mentioned at the beginning. Those were a blast. But with that said, until next time, bye.